Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 13 in this series and is entitled User Defined Methods in Java. Except for part 4 in this series, all the rest of our lessons have been using and calling methods that are already built in with Java. This include print and printf, the math methods max, mean, pow, and the string methods compare to, replace all, and many others. In this part, we will continue learning how to create and implement our own methods. A method can have two parts, the header name and the body. The header name is composed of the modifier, the return type, the method name, and the parameter. An example of the modifier would be the words public and static. The return type could be the integer. A method name could be the average, and the parameter could be the variables x and y, which are both integers. The body is enclosed by braces, and inside it are the statement or statements that it will run. A method can be of two types. Either it's a void method or a non-void method. A void method doesn't return anything, that's why it doesn't have a return statement, while a non-void method may return an integer, a float, a double, or any other data types, and it has a return statement. Let's start with activity number 25, where we will create a Java class that will ask a user to enter the radius of a circle. We will use a void method to compute and display its circumference. Our input is the radius, and our process is simple as getting the circumference, which is equal to 2 times pi times the radius, but it must be inside a method, including the statement to display the output. Let's call this class user-defined-method. Let's start by making the method, the modifier, public static. The return type is void. Let's call it circumference. And we're going to have only one parameter, which should be of type integer. And we can start with the code. We'll declare one double variable for the circumference. We'll call it C. Now let's compute for the circumference is equal to 2 times mat.pi times the radius which is now r and let's display the output system that out that we're going to use printf to format the number the circumference is percent 1.2 so that it's going to have two decimal places and the value. Now we can implement the method. Let's import java.util.scanner. By the way, you can place the method anywhere in the class. It can be on top of main or below the main. Let's instantiate our scanner. We need to declare one variable for the radius. Now we can ask him or the user to enter the value for the radius. And we will put it in radius. We're almost done. All we have to do now is to call our method. Remember, our method name is circumference. And our method has only one parameter, which is of integer, which should be the radius. So we will pass the value of the radius. So what happens here is that when we call the method circumference, we are also passing the value of the radius, the one that we just entered, to the variable r. And from here, the computation is done, and the display of the output. Now let's try our program. Let's say 10. The circumference is 62.83. Well done. 
To differentiate a void method from a non-void method, we'll do activity number 26. We're going to revise the previous activity by changing the method to non-void. And we're going to place the output statement in the main method. Our current method is just like print or printf method where there is no return value. That's why it's void. But if it's already non-void, then that means it's going to return a value, a value that can be placed in a variable. Let's say circum. So this circum, which is also the circumference, should be declared as another variable of type double. Now, this method should no longer be void, but, yeah, you guessed it right, since circum is double, we should make also the method double. And now, it has to have the return value to return the result of the computation for the circumference. Last, the output statement according to the problem should no longer be in the method but inside the main method. Of course, it doesn't recognize C anymore but the circum variable. Let's try to run our program with the same reaches and the output is the same. The next part, which is number 14, will be about overloading methods. So make sure you visit it too. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.